Which was a great win today over Niagara, 71-56, uh, late um, spurt by you guys to uh, to get the victory. Now 1-3 and three on the season in the MAC. You played three tough teams to start off the season, including Fairfield and and, and Maris, which, you know, two of the top teams in the conference right now. Talk about the game and, you know, what you're... What you're uh, Pluses and minuses and everything that you the, saw out there. I thought Niagara played well. I thought they shot the ball well. I think they got production. I have two players that really hadn't had a lot of production all year, and uh, Chanel Johnson and Jessica Flam, and I give them a lot of credit for that. But we did a great job on Liz Flukes, who's a tremendous player. Um, you know, we started off, you know, tough again. You know, the zone gave us problems. We didn't shoot the ball as well as we have the ability to. And then we started to, you know, get a little looser, run our stuff. We, today was the best day we ran our stuff. And, you know, some of our players really stepped up. I thought Haley did a great job in her first career start. And I thought Marissa really responded well to moving to the two guard. And, and Christina off the bench was great. And Anja and Dai were really solid. And that was very important. And then we got some decent production out of, you know, a couple of the kids. Kat made a couple of baskets that were very important. I think that hopefully she'll drop out, um, snap out of her shooting slump. And stuff. But I think, you know, the one win will give us a chance to breathe and take a deep breath, and hopefully, you know, we can build on that and move on. It was a 24-point swing in the game. You guys were down by 9 at one point, one by 15. Um, and, and really, it seemed like during the comeback, you got you had two of your, your main scorers kind of stepping up there, and Anja and Christina, and they both were doing it at, they were doing it at both ends of the floor. Mm -hmm. They were, and, and I was really proud of the, them because, you know, we have – Really talked about them taking good shots and passing and working the ball, and they did. They did a much better job of that. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think that's important. It's interesting how well uh, Niagara shot today, 51% um, from the field, but you still limited them to under 60 points. They had 36 turnovers today. That's you know that was the key to your defense turning them over. Absolutely, Brian. I thought our defensive pressure. You know we were going to give up some shots, and honestly we didn't give up a lot of layups. We only gave up three layups in the first half. They just made some tough shots, and a part of the pressure too is wearing them down. And I think we have more. Uh, you know at this point with we have more depth and and and, and players, so we utilize that, and I think it really step. We were really able to do that well and stuff. Coach, uh, <coughs> got some more tough games coming up uh, next week f in, the, in the MAC, and uh, you know obviously everything's going to be a tough game in the MAC. Uh, talk about what you got coming up. Brian at Peters on Thursday is going to be very difficult. Always a tough place to play. They rebound the ball well. Brian, we've just got to worry about ourselves at this point. We are just we have a talented team that if they understand how hard you have to play and how much of a team you have to play, they'll do fine. If we don't, then we're going to struggle. You know, we've lost to three good teams. We beat a team today that's been struggling but actually gave us a real good game. So, you know what? Every game's going to be tough. We've got to just play our game. We need our stars to step up, and they did today, and we need that on a consistent basis. If we get that on a consistent basis, we'll, you know, have a chance to be successful. If we don't, then we're going to struggle. Coach, thank you very much. Once again, it's a 71-56 win over Niagara, and we'll talk to you next time. Here. So, Andre, it was a great way to come back from the down 12 for a 15-point win today. Um, 71 56 was the score in the game. You had a game high 22 points, including your 1,000th career point at Iona. Talk about the game and you know how excited you are to get a win today, and uh, you know how you played. Well, I'm mostly excited um, about the win because uh, I knew that I was far in the 900s when it comes to points, so I knew I was going to get it eventually. But the win is really what was the important thing today because we've been in such a slump. And I, why I think it's so important that we won today is because everybody contributed from some, in some point of the game and from some aspect. So I think that that's what we need. And I think that's a step in a good direction to start winning more games and to take over the match just like we planned to in the beginning of the year. It's a slow start for you guys, like you know you kind of alluded to. And then you know when you guys picked it up when you were coming back in the second half, there it was really you and Christina, the, you know two of the veterans on the team that kind of stepped it up on both ends of the floor, both offensively and defensively. Well, I feel like that's what we pride ourselves on is that we have so many players and when one of us is down, the other one should, you know, the other players should pick us up and vice versa. But at the end of the day, is it, it is about the veterans making shots and making plays. Uh, you guys played well defensively. If you look at their field goal percentage, you know, it was 51%, but you guys uh, caused 36 turnovers in the game today. Talk about how important that was for you guys, you know, as the game went on. I'm very happy uh, because of that number because one of our goals was to make them have more than 30 uh, turnovers. So um, I'm assuming Coach Abadi, who's our defensive coach, is very happy about that. But that's just Tayona basketball, and I'm happy what we did in the second half was that 
we didn't try to adjust to them. We just played our game. And my opinion is that good basketball teams do not adjust to others. They adjust to them, and that's exactly what we did. And lastly, again, talk about you know what it means. Your 21 players in school history have scored 1,000 points, and you're, you know, um, you're the newest member. It, it means a lot because I, everybody knows how I ended last season with that knee injury. Mm -hmm. It was my second ACL injury, and... Um, and the desire was there, but sometimes you cannot control if you get injured, if you if you come back from an injury. Mm -hmm. Some of those things are really out of your control, and this is just really great. I, I'm beyond happy, and but I'm mostly happy because of the girls, because those 22 points that made me join the 1000 Club, it really was a team effort, because if my teammates didn't pass me the ball in the right situations, I would have got that. So I really have to thank the girls and the coaches for putting me in a position that I was able to do that. Well, congratulations on the win today, and we'll talk to you when you get back home. Thank you very much, Brad.